Okay, so we can get started. Welcome to the living room. I'm uh, Gabriel, product manager. I'm Michelle. I run the smart home ecosystem for Google. The assistant today can work with 200 million devices. Just as you have seen in the kitchen, we control the door, the uh, door hello uh, doorbell, the locks, and the thermostat. We also control the TVs or the set of boxes, devices that you already have in the home. But what is one of the biggest challenges? We need an app. We need an app for each one of these devices. It's impossible to control these connected devices. So, um, um, especially when everybody, there is more than one person living in the household, so everybody can actually see and experience and being able to control from a simplified view. With the Google Home Hub, we are bringing that. We are bringing a thoughtful approach to allow everybody in the household to control those devices. And what we call it is a home view. So let's take a quick look at home view. All I need to do is swipe down, and this room is actually loaded with smart devices. It's kind of like my house. We have about 15 devices in here. Yeah, come on over, you can take a look. Um, so I have a summary statement at the top, and this key lets me know what's going on with my home right now. I have three lights on, so I have a couple of uh, Q lights over there, and I have a GE light behind you. Um, oops. I have uh, the front door, which is unlocked right now, and I have the temperature set to 70. So I'm going to go in here. And we're going to turn that down because there's a few of us in this room, and I'm going to just bring it down to 63. And if you look over at the thermostat, you'll notice that that temperature just changed to 63. So we've got great immediate responsiveness from the hub to any of the devices that it controls. Let's also take a look at lights because most people have connected lights in their home. What's nice from home view is that I can control all the lights in my house uh, from one place. Now, this is a very small house, and so all my lights are actually in the living room, so I'll go into here. I can control the brightness. Um, so you'll see, actually, I just turned that down. If you look, all the lights in the room have gone down substantially. And I'll bring it back up again so you can see the difference quickly, and you can see how fast this is. I can also change the color on any of the colored lights. So you want kind of uh, feeling fall today, we'll throw that to a pumpkin nice. setting. And now I have my living room all set up for a, um, a nice uh, lean back experience on the couch. But what if I'm kind of set back, I'm ready to watch a movie, and I hear something weird outside. I can just go, okay Google, show me the outside camera. We have a Google, uh, a, a Nest uh, outside camera, Nest IQ outdoor is outside. We'll take a look what's going out there. There's absolutely nothing going on. Um, but if there was something creepy going on, I could very easily just go in and tap lock, or I could ask Google with the you voice will see the, to the lock, lock the door. And you can see the, the Nest Geo lock, lock right behind us. You know, and I'm going to actually unlock that for you. And these are all Nest products. They work with any Google, um, uh, any product that works with Google Assistant. This will work with August, this will work with Schlage, any product that works with Google Assistant. Gotcha. At the same time, we are um, also launching the new Google Home app that has exactly the same uh, look and feel as the Google Home Hub. So it's easy for anybody to actually control and access to um, the most frequent uh, devices that you want to control when you are outside the home. Is that update live right now? Yes. Today? Yeah. Okay. And that came out today? That update? That came out today. Okay. And Michelle, what do we do if we don't have any? Connected devices. So I think like uh, like us, you guys probably have a ton of connected devices in your home. But if you are um, uh, a smart home newbie, we did a lot of work with GE Lighting to come up with a smart home uh, starter kit, smart light starter kit. This takes a Google Home Mini and a C by GE light bulb. And what we've enabled is a new technology for local pairing and local execution that allows the Google Home speaker, not just a mini, but any Google Home speaker, including Hub, to act as the actual hub for the device. Um, all you need to do is plug in the speaker, screw in the light bulb, mm. light up the Google Home app. It takes you through a couple of steps. It automatically pairs that device for you literally in just a couple of minutes. And that is how much? $55, and it'll be available in a couple of weeks at all major retailers. Nice. So it's a really great way for people to get started with smart home. Yeah, absolutely. There's only now, one, no, one bulb in there, right? There's only one bulb, but GE also sells a four-pack that you and you can add as many um, GE bulbs into this as you want. Thank you. Now, we're in the living room, right? And it's all about entertainment devices. So to get to the entertainment that you love and to spend quality time with your family. As you have here in the keynote, we actually enable him today to control these entertainment devices. TV, set of boxes, 
smart speakers, remote control. So we're gonna swipe down with the view and we're gonna select media. It's gonna show us all the media capable devices in the home. We're gonna select the set of books. We know what that set of books looks like. We know what it can do. So you have play, pause, fast forward, rewind, volume control, and you also have the ability, you also have the ability to go and select channels and being able to control it from there. You can do it through the voice, or you can do it through the touch in the Google Home Hub, in the Home View. So Michelle, uh, let's do ASPN. All right, let's do ASPN. So the Google Home Hub is controlling the set of books. This is live, you are watching live TV right now. You can also do this through voice, so I can change any of the channels I want through voice as well. It works with Visio TV, Sony TV, Logitech uh, devices, of course, this uh, set of books. Um, and we also expand into the entire Android TV ecosystem and it's rolling out as we speak uh, across uh, multiple service providers uh, across the world. So uh, Dish Network is the first to have that feature? Dish Network uh, was the first one to have that feature, that is correct. Okay. Can, can you demo using the voice to control that? Yeah. Okay, Google, switch to HGTV. Sorry, I'm not sure how to open that. Oops. Okay, Google, tune to CNBC on Dish. Okay, Google, pause on dish. Okay, Google, pause on hopper. You can also control the TV. Okay, Google, increase. Okay, Google, increase the volume by fifty percent on the TV, and you will see. Okay, Google, increase the volume by fifty percent on dish. We have a very funky uh, integration with this today. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can, we can do this. <laughs> okay. So that, yeah, it's like basically a TV remote at the, you know, near your couch. Yes. So a lot of times what happens is you can't find a remote. Yeah. Um, so it works as a TV remote. Stuck between right the cushions. Absolutely. And then you have to start, like, taking all the cushions off. Exactly. So this is the, what we're doing with this is we're allowing the assistant to enable any of the connected devices that are in your living room. Sometimes so, you want to do it, you want to control, turn it on, turn it off, change the channel, channel up, channel down. Sometimes you want to go straight to the guy. Sometimes you just want to do a search for your popular movies. Okay, Google, show me Tom Cruise movies on Dish. So sometimes you have to say hopper or dish. Um, yeah, because we call it both. That's why I, I mm. didn't know which one we're going to use. Um, so now we have just a simple search done with the voice instead of you just typing with the remote control every single time that you want to do something. Okay. Just to make it simple and, you know, lay back and enjoy. And then... You want to talk about music? Let's talk about music, right? In the living room. How many speakers do we have at home? Two, three, four? Five. We know, right? Music is a core experience. Uh, for most of our Google Home uh, customers that they get to enjoy today. We are enabling today for you to search your favorite songs and your music videos on demand right for the Google Home Hub. Check it out. So what we've done, you guys are aware of multi-room, mm -hmm. I assume, so you mm -hmm. can play your music across all of the Google Home devices. So we added Hub into that as well. So we have a Google Home Max over there. We have a, a new Aqua Google Home Mini on the table over there. It's beautiful. I want one of those. And so I can say, okay, Google, play Electricity by Silk City on all speakers. Gabe, you might want to check out all, all right. speakers on there. Volume? Google sure. Play it on all speakers. Let's increase it. I'm going to use it. 